it's Dylan Dew here, and I'm gonna make this quick as hell, so skip the whole I'm back for another amazing video. We need to talk about Episode 9, uh, The Rise of Skywalker, and Jedi Fallen Order. Now, both of these look great, alright? Um, I've been meaning to make a video on this for a while, and this is just sort of an unscripted rant to get my thoughts out, um, about what I think about these. And to be perfectly honest, I'm excited, but very fucking skeptical. Um, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute, because... The trailers for both look great. I remember sitting in geometry class on Friday, just geeking out, having a ball with the trailer. The fact that Palpatine's going to be coming back. The fact that Ian McDermott, the guy who originally played Palpatine, was on stage and is confirmed to be in this movie during Celebration. I mean, I had a ball with that. That was, that was incredible. And I'm super happy that Palpatine is making a return. But at the same time, I'm really not. So... Let me get into episode 9 before I move on to Jedi Fallen Order, because oh boy, there's a whole nother hot mess that I want to get into over there. So, to start with, Jedi, um, or shit, no, fuck. Uh, episode 9, the trailer, looks good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty, everything looks great. The shot of Rey jumping over Kylo's TIE Fighter, that looks fucking incredible. I'm so excited to see that in the movie, and to see their duel, and to see how that's gonna turn out. But at the same time, I'm not excited that Palpatine is back. Now, I literally just said, oh, great, Palpatine's back, Ian McDermott, woohoo. But it kind of ruins a few things in Star Wars. Number one, the sequel trilogy has finally undone everything that the original trilogy did. It killed the rebellion that brought back the Republic. It ruined many of the main characters by either killing them off in completely dumb and ridiculous ways, ruined some of the original cast arcs, created new characters that are little shit, and now takes the fight that they all fought and worked so hard for in the original trilogy and throws it out the tin can because Palpatine is back and the First Order has control of the galaxy. You see how fucked up that is? Like, come on. Is also kind of ruins Darth Vader's arc if Palpatine is truly back in the flesh, alive. It takes everything that Anakin had fought for, that Anakin came back to do, to bring balance to the Force and throws it right out the fucking window. This ruins Darth Vader's arc. It ruins his whole transformation back to the light and him saving um, the galaxy and bringing balance to the Force. It says, fuck that, and completely throws it out the window. So it almost makes Darth Vader and Anakin a useless character, and Anakin would technically not be the chosen one if Palpatine is truly alive and found a way to survive, unless by some weird miracle that he shows up in Episode 9. The chances of that happening are slim to none, there's been no confirmation whatsoever that he's going to make an appearance and deal with Palpatine again. I don't think it's going to happen, I don't expect it to happen, and to be honest with you, I don't care. Okay, let me rephrase that. I do care, but I don't think it will happen. Um, and the fact that Palpatine is back just ruins... It puts the final nail in the co coffin for basically making the original trilogy... The, the conflict in the original trilogy for absolutely nothing. It makes everything the main characters had fought for literally nothing. It was all for nothing, because everything they built is destroyed in the sequel trilogy. So... Props to you, Disney. You just completely ruined the originals for me. Um, so, aside from that, maybe, maybe maybe this movie will prove me wrong. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm very skeptical about this movie, and I have every right to be, and I think every Star Wars fan has a right to be skeptical about Episode Nine, um, because the last two Star Wars movies haven't exactly been great. The Last Jedi, I had fun watching it, but with all the controversy surrounding it, it kind of ruined it for me. And I had a lot of fun with Solo, but it just kind of tanked at the box office. And, you know, that, that was just kind of disappointing. And I think this movie is going to continue that trend. As much as I don't want it to, and as much as I would love to see it succeed, I've got just a bad feeling about this. But anyways, those are my thoughts on Episode 9. If you happen to disagree or have a different opinion, please comment down below. I want to hear you guys um, talk about this in the comment section. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you guys think, so please comment down below. Uh, now let's move on to Jedi Fallen Order. Now, EA went out and said on their EA Star Wars Twitter that there will not be any loot boxes or microtransactions in this game. Which sounds great. 
and the trailer they released looks fucking incredible. It's up there with the Old Republic cinematic trailers they did for their um, MMORPG for uh, the Old Republic games. It looks great. The trailer looks awesome. I like the idea that you're a Jedi hiding from the Empire and the Inquisitors. I fucking love it. It's great. So, I went to go check out the pre-order, and I'm disappointed as shit. Because, let me pull the uh, page real quick. You guys aren't going to see it on your side, so I'm just going to play the trailer on loop. Um, I'm reading this right now. Uh, Xbox Live, Xbox One uh, X Enhanced, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Edition is available for 70 fucking dollars. That's always great. Um, the Deluxe Edition says, Get the story behind the game with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Edition featuring a director's cut uh, suite of behind-the-scenes features and content as well as additional unique cosmetic equipment for your adventure. Pre-order the Deluxe Edition to also receive all the unique pre-order bonus content. Now, if that doesn't scream, we're going to be paying for cosmetic items and we're going to be paying for DLC, then I don't know what the fuck else does. Unique pre-order bonus content. And they already said they're having cosmetic equipment with this. So they can't say cosmetic equipment twice. So we're getting fucking parts of the game as day one DLC. I'm calling it right fucking now. If I am wrong about this, then I'm going to be surprised. Then I may have a little respect back for EA. But I'm calling it right now just based on the description of the pre-order that I just fucking read. There's going to be day one DLC and they're going to make us pay for cosmetic items. I don't have necessarily a problem with paying for cosmetic items. I mean, it's worked in games like Apex Legends, Fortnite, uh, even Battlefront 2 to a certain degree. But for a single player game? Really? With no multiplayer implications whatsoever? That means they're going to amp the prices up for the cosmetics. I'm calling it. They never once said in the tweet they wouldn't have DLC that you'd have to pay for or cosmetics that you'd have to pay for. I didn't even think there'd be cosmetics in this game. I didn't even fucking care if there were, but now I do because they're going to charge you for it. And that fucking sucks. I'm, I'm sorry, it just does. So, as I look down um, to check what's in the bundle uh, for the Jedi uh, Fallen Order Deluxe Edition, uh, pre-order bonus, so let me click on that. Uh, what does it say? Pre-order Jedi Fallen Order to outfit yourself with unique cosmetic equipment for your lightsaber and your droid companion. So I'm guessing it's going to be lightsaber colors and maybe different looks for your droid, which that's fine, whatever. I don't, I don't necessarily fucking care um, about what my droid looks like. Uh, and then, let's see, uh, pre-order bonus. Wait, oh, wait, shit, I just fucking clicked that shit. Um, yeah, so all, it's, all it says here for the pre-order bonus is the, um, just cosmetics. But, based on the description of the Deluxe Edition, I think there's going to be day one DLC. Uh, and for the Deluxe Upgrade, it says, get the story behind the game with... The Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Edition featuring a director's cut suite, behind the scenes features and content, as well as unique cosmetics equipment for your adventure. So, all it's saying right now is that there is cosmetic items that you get from the pre order, and it's also saying um, uh, that there is a chance there's going to be day one DLC uh, because of uh, director's cut content. I I don't know. I, I'm calling it right fucking now. There's going to be day one DLC in the deluxe edition um, for this game. So if there is, I called it. I'm fucking warning the Star Wars community right now. There might be day one DLC in this game just based off of what you get in pre-order. And that we're also going to be paying for cosmetics. Again, the whole cosmetic thing I don't have a fucking problem with. It's just the chance that there's going to be day one DLC. And to reiterate... They never once said they were going to have DLC that you'd have to pay for. Granted, they didn't say anything about DLC. But I'm still fucking nervous that you're going to have to pay for a season pass of some court or the deluxe edition sort of pass and get DLC as the life of this game continues. So, I don't know. I think that's what's going to happen. And if it does, I fucking warned everyone. And I hope hell is rained down on EA. But that's just my side of things. Um, Because... I think that is complete and utter bullshit. It's just bullshit. No, no other way to put it. No other way to put it. Bullshit. I don't want it. Fuck that.
but does that mean I'm still gonna get the pre-order? Yeah, it is, because it's gonna give me some content. Uh, <laughs> but I'm calling it right fucking now. Yes, we're gonna have day one DLC, and yes, we're gonna have to pay for cosmetic items in this game. Other than that, the game trailer, or not the game trailer, well, yeah, the game trailer. The trailer looks good. I wish we got to see um, uh, actual gameplay. I wish we got a gameplay reveal at a uh, celebration, but other than that, the story seems good. I like the idea that you're a Jedi, of course, hiding uh, from the Empire. I can't wait to see the lightsaber combat and how they're going to do that. I hope this is more so like the Force Unleashed, but just a little toned down on the powers. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. I just can't fucking wait. And if they are going to do DLC, make it to where this Jedi has to confront Vader. I would be fucking ecstatic if they had, a, if they had DLC where you get to confront Vader. That I would pay for. And that's a maybe. I don't, even, I don't even know if i pay for it then. Yeah, yeah, of course i fucking pay for it. Then you're fighting Darth Vader. But, I don't know, that's a little speculation. But yeah, in short, both of these movies could go... Or, bleh. Both this movie and this game could go completely wrong. But I'm still a bit optimistic and excited, but also scared. So, I don't know. I just can't wait for both of these to come out and see if I'm right or wrong. Uh, but anyways, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. This was just a quick unscripted rant, so sorry for a lot of the rambling. I do apologize. Um, I'm trying to script more of my videos, but this, I just need to go and speak my piece on it. Because I'm, I'm fucking nervous that there's going to be day one DLC. A DLC that you gotta pay for in Jedi Fallen Order. And that it could potentially, for episode 9, that it could potentially ruin the original trilogy completely for me. I don't know, that's just me. But if you did like this video... Drop a comment down below, drop a like down below, um, and to know that I'm not bullshitting about the Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Edition, I'll leave the link to the Microsoft Store link um, in the description below as well. Uh, drop a comment and like, and also why not subscribe and hit that notification bell, and share this video around to, so we can get the community in on this. I'm very curious uh, what other members of the Star Wars community think. Uh, just know, I am excited. I want to see these both succeed. I'm not trying to hate on the fact that um, Star Wars hasn't exactly been doing so hot, and I'm not trying to scare everyone. But I am just letting you guys know, this could go very fucking wrong, and don't expect too much um, from Disney and EA at this point. Don't get your hopes up, but at the same time, have that little giddy excited feeling you got when you see the trailers on the inside as well. Have a good mix of both. Just have optimism with this. I'm excited, but at the same time nervous. There. I'll leave it at that. Anyways, guys... Drop a like, comment down below what you think, and get this video shared around. Uh, let's see if we can get 20 likes. That would be phenomenal. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for hearing my bullshit unscripted rant about Jedi Fallen Order and Episode 9. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Dylan Deer, signing out. Bye-bye!